the Super Rugby season kicks off with a New Zealand derby to get the season underway as the Waikato Chiefs will be taking on our Otago Highlanders in game one of this brand new seasoned career series on Rugby Champions. The two sides are spinning on your screen now as we get ready for kickoff and our first match in charge of the Highlanders. Waikato will be at home. The Highlanders will be in their beautiful away strips. We are set to get this opening game underway as we now have some beautiful little instructions on the bottom of our screen. And it's go time. The Highlanders kicking underway. Josh Uwani with the ball in the green for the Highlanders. Super Rugby is now underway. It's a beautiful kickoff from Uwani. Finds it down to Sean Stevenson. who returns fire with a high bomb kick. Down it goes to Ben Smith who's hammered. Big tackle on Ben Smith and a turnover as well. Hand to the rock. Advantage goes to the Chiefs and an early penalty will be to the home team. There to Damien McKenzie, who will kick for touch. Looking for an early opportunity here for the Chiefs to get themselves on the front foot. Line out comes in, it's missed by everyone as the ball scrats out the back line and nicely dragged in there by Brad Weber. As the Highlanders find themselves on defensive duty early on in this new season. Oh, pick and go here from Aiden Ross. A good little play there. Getting him to the 22. Waiting for it as Weber. He goes to his left side. It's good little pull back deep to Tumu Omaru, who sets it up on the 22 meter line. Now they go to the open side. Oh, good tackle there on Ada Ross, who's put down in a big way. The Highlanders try to pile it in over the top. There's a man down a back play, which is a bit of a concern for the Highlanders. It's ball's chipped through from Damian McKenzie. And it's there for Ben Smith, who was hammered for his troubles. Just a metre out from his own line. And that's a, a pick and go from Aiden Johnson into their own end goal. Are the Highlanders in early trouble here? They're going to run this out, which is a bit dangerous. It's gone away to Rob Thompson, who splits him in half. Rob Thompson looking to the left hand side. Support there from Waisaki Naholo, who just manages to get away into touch. 30 metre gain. The Highlanders refusing to kick the ball. Now the Chiefs have another, another chance to attack. McKenzie running at the line, finding Anton in the brown, who slices through. Too much support on the outside for the Chiefs. First try, Nanai Saturo. And the Chiefs get their season underway. Set play from the line out. And Nanai Saturo with the opening try. And the Chiefs lead 5 0. Here is the conversion from McKenzie, which goes wide. Now certainly not what the Highlanders had in mind to start this season. It's a good try there by the Chiefs' is left. Unconverted. The game back underway. Joshua Ani kicking off as the Highlanders haven't even touched the ball yet. They stick down to Stevenson who kicks quickly and early for touch. He finds the ball just short of the 10 metre line. Coltman throws and nicely goes to the back and Aaron Slip. To Yuani running a bit sideways here. Fattis, oh, it's a drop ball from Fattis, and it's picked up from Manu, and it's a penalty, Otago. That is what they wanted. We are going for a shot at goal. Great opportunity to get points to the board here for Josh Yuani. Just outside the 22, an instant reply. This could be for the Highlanders on the road. First points of the season. Goes to the youngster, Josh Yuani. Score is now five points to three. Speaking of Yuani, he's just been smashed off a kickoff and a penalty back to the Chiefs. Oh, it's a, just a carbon copy. And another three I expect will be going. No, it's a tap. It's a quick tap. And away go the Chiefs very quickly on the ball. It was Anton in the brown. It's now they've got work to do. The Highlanders on the fence, but a great charging run. James Lynch just gets here quickly. And tries to turn it over on Sam Kane. Almost up to half time as McKenzie again looks for touch, looking to pin the Highlanders down. And it will go on their own in goal. And Waisaki Naholo puts it down for a 22 meter dropout. Right, let's get something going here, team, shall we? Yuani will kick the from, ball from his 22. High one. 
Way out, left hand side. Big troubling kick here, and it's picked up from Moiki Ola. Does very well there. Does the Japanese winger. It was a one on one defensive effort. You've got to watch that guy running short. He's going to be the danger man. It is Mitchell Brown. He's beaten one and he dummies and he keeps going. Does Brown. Big chance for a turnover there for Naholo, but could not find it. Goes deep to Leonard Brown, who kicks straight down the sideline. No one's home here for the Highlanders. And the ball will go into the end goal. And it will be, well, run dead pretty much. It's, it should be, yes, a 22 meter dropout. Bit concerned about where that one was going. We are almost at half time. 40 minutes is up for the opening half of this season's Super Rugby season. It's underway we go. It's again, it's that same tactic of the left hand side. And what are they going to do about this? Oh, big tackle there. Oh, Moekiola. As the Highlanders pile on in, trying to disrupt the ball. It's Snowball. It does come back eventually to McKenzie, who has not found touch. It bounces away to the end goal. Ben Smith just about makes a hash of it. Running it back, Smith. Are the Highlanders running this out, or are they going to just kick for touch? It's there for Yulani, who goes flat to tops. And now the ball's there for Lee. Great pass away to Luke Whitelock. Whitelock's up behind the defensive line as well. Sweeping away one is Putty Putty Parkinson. Trying to step his way through as Coleman. And he's in trouble and he's lost the ball. We are getting undone at breakdown time. Probably should have kicked that out. This is an easy three if they wanted the Chiefs. But they're going to run this out. And they do well through Nathan Harris, who just about gets away. The ball will fall for James Lynch's. And it will go back to the penalty or straight to half time? Back to the penalty. Damien McKenzie looks to end the half. The next to three for the Chiefs. The kick comes in. And it is over. Eight points to three is the score at half time. This opening Super Rugby match of the season. Number one with the Highlanders. It's a good start with some possession. And in tow here, it's not going to advantage for the Highlanders. Chiefs player going for the intercept. It's Aaron Smith who's trying to run it away. He's in a bit of bother there. It's not quite quick enough to the breakdown, it seems. As we're looking to go wide. It's a wild old pass. Still advantage on our side as we get it out through the forwards in the back line. Finally, it's there for Lynches, who's trying to go wide and still can't get it away to lead. It's picked up from Homopo, and there's a bit of a gap here for Ben Smith. He slices straight down. Ben Smith cuts in half for the Highlanders. He needs someone on the right. It's inside. He goes finally out to Naholo. The option's quickly there for Yuani. He's given an out to Homopo, who sweeps away one defender away from the second. Quick ball is what the Highlanders need. Aaron Smith waits for it. Gives it short. Charging onto it. It's Lynch's. He goes straight through now. Supports from Potty Potty Parkinson again. Looks wide. Can't get the ball out. Taken down is now the Highlanders. Venture their way into Chiefs territory. Wide ball out to Yuani. Flatty goes to Fattis. Fattis jinking and jiving. Fattis puts down the accelerator. Can't get away though. Superb tackle from McKenzie. And it looks like the Chiefs have turned this over. And that is a big, big play. A terrible pass, though. Has, well, what's going on? Not going to burn The Highlanders have knocked that on. And the Chiefs player has driven into his own goal. That is Lachlan Boucher. We have a game on our hands, folks. I tell you what, the Highlanders have come out firing in the second half. Goes away to McKenzie, who takes on the first defender he can see. And this is dangerous from the Chiefs. They go deep. Oh, it's a missed pass. And it's into touch. Brody Ratolik with the error. Is there something on here for the Highlanders? They look short sided to be Lee. He was never going to get through there. Looking for a bit of support play. Here's James Lynch's. Goes so well. He's just short. Nick Quick Ball. Matt Fellas straightening his Rob Thompson. Oh, it's been knocked on. Can you believe it? Two on one with about 40 metres of easy half to play with for now. Liam Coltman goes up and the massive chance for the Highlanders has gone begging. Advantage is still here for them if they wanted the Chiefs, but they're running away through Moe Fiona. He could go all the way, but he's stopped by a big Ben Smith tackle. Advantage is quickly over and so is the opportunity for the Highlanders to get back in this game. Bonus points. Don't know him. 
because this has been an arm wrestle between these two New Zealand sides. Oh, big tackle there from the Highlanders as they look to turn over position. Slow ruck ball here for the Chiefs, and that is a good little run there to set the play from Nathan Harris. This is a pilot's player offside. It's a crossfield bomb coming in from McKenzie. And up goes to Vita Lee. Oh, great little pass away to Putty Putty Parkinson. And here's Joshuani. He splits him in half. Inside ball to Vita Lee. Just can't get away. And the Chiefs player is down and engine. It's Ben Smith. Ben Smith picks up. Ben Smith runs. Smith going through everyone. He finds Parkinson. Oh, what a run. Special play from Pori Pori Parkinson. Try to the Highlanders who tie things up. Well, the injured player will be an error of some concern for the Chiefs as we are into the final last couple of minutes. Here's Yuani. Big kick, he's missed! Oh, I don't believe it! Yuani puts it astray and the score remains at eight points all. Great offload there. Another one comes away eventually to Ben Smith who floats it wide and it's a turnover. Big turnover play. Chiefs could put this one away here if they want. It's a short side play and it's not a bad one either as they find a lot of space down there and they are just 10 metres short now of the Highlanders line. They go deep. Marty McKenzie's on. That means it's Damien who's suffered the injury and the number 10 jumper. We've been lucky enough to avoid all injuries so far. I would love a turnover here. I would love a bit of turnover. We just can't get it though. Is there a drop goal on here? There is! Oh, it's Manu! He's got it over! Oh, that is catastrophic for the Highlanders! Tamua Manu has sliced it over by an absolute whisker. It's 11 8, and there is just a minute to play. Yuani kicks off. It's flat. It's wide. Oh, it's a mistake! It's a massive error! And away goes Sam Kane! The Chiefs looking for one final dig. What a kickoff that was. Have the Highlanders got one last play in the bank. Here it is. Yulani to Fattis. Fattis going through himself. Beautiful offload to Thompson. And I think we've lost it. We have. This could be it all over. As it's come out wide. And a bit of strife there. Turn over to the Highlanders. One more chance to dance. Squire goes away to Smith. The veteran. He's going to lose it. He does. He's lost it. And the Chiefs will win it. Oh, what a catastrophic end for the Highlanders. Taking their time as Weber. He floats it out and into touch. It goes. McKenzie goes for touch. And it is all over. 11 points to 8. What a thriller it's been. We're actually going back to the penalty. And McKenzie puts that one into touch regardless. And that will be full time. The match is all over and the Highlanders go down to the Chiefs by the slenderest of margins 11.28 Super Rugby not the high try scoring thriller we expected but certainly a lot of entertainment in that game one try apiece but it was goal kicking that proved to be the difference a couple of penalties and some real entertaining rugby here from these two sides we have a lot to improve on though. You can guarantee that bottom dollar. Just not getting the chances. Not quite that acceleration to make them pay. Fattis made a few breaks. We're in a lot of open chances. A great try from Nano Saturo. Kicked the cheeks off. And we managed to just claw our way back. And we did a lot of attacking from inside our own 22. Maybe went a bit early with some of these balls, but really. We looked on top of this game for a lot of it. We should have scored more tries, but just could not get the ball into the try line. That is it, though. 11 points to 8. Full-time stats. One try piece. Possession territory really even. We missed six tackles there, nine. We should have done a lot better with what we had, but a great even start to our Super Rugby season. We pick up a bonus point for losing within seven, but I just go to show, it just goes to show, I should say, why we went up this difficulty level. Really entertaining games. And hopefully if we can improve this side, we can become much better in the future. So let's wrap up. We'll look at where we sit in the conference. And why not spend some points, eh? Let's boost up our key players. Let's have a look at it.
Okay, so as you can see, we've picked up the bonus point loss, which means we get one skill, one attribute, and one recruitment point. So it puts all three of them on 11. Unfortunately, not enough for the win, but we start off with a point to the bank regardless. We're not going to be the dominant side. The Highlanders are not that team. So as you can see here, we've got 11 points there. We pick up one point um, in each category, and it just tells you how it works. If you didn't tune into the uh, introduction video to the series, we can um, level up our players essentially with the skill and attri attribute points um, for our own players. And recruitment points we can spend on either players in our youth team to promote them up, or we can spend them on players from other teams and buy them in. So we can get some real superstars if we want, or we can concentrate on nurturing our own talent. So we're just going to look to start us off, get ourselves underway, um, get some points in the bank, and let's see how we go. We'll, we'll simulate through the rest of this round, which is round one. As you can see, we scored the one try through Putty Putty Parkinson, which was an absolute cracker, I must say. But it was uh, Tamua Manu, of all people, to get a drop goal to seal that victory. So let's um, make our way through the rest of round number one. Look at that too, just about packed out that stadium. Other results, Canberra beat Melbourne. Uh, Brumbies, Rebels, you know all these sides of Canterbury. Wow, big one by the Crusaders there as well. And you see the Sunwolves on the Sharks, 17-0. How about that? The Bulls, the Stormers, 14-13. Massive. And the Jaguares with the 14-3 win over the Lions. So that is round one for you all. And, um, you know, let's just get into round two. See who we're facing. We will update our player stats. We'll get a little bit of boost. I'm, I'm thinking guys like Yuani, he's young. Um, we'll have a look at our youth team as well and see if there's anyone worth investing in. So make sure you guys let me know if you think someone's going to be a superstar or you like looking for a player. Think we need a player in a certain position? Let me know in the comments below. So no one's injured, which is good. Next up, we are at home versus the Reds. And um, interested to see how the Reds are going. They I haven't played yet. So this is exactly the 2019 schedule as well. How about that? Let's have a look at the squad. No one's injured. Everyone seems to be going fairly well. Um, the concern really for me was just those half breaks in midfield by like Matt Fadis. So I thought it was good, but couldn't quite finish. Rob Thompson, good, but just couldn't quite get away from those defenders who just hung on. Uh, very good defensive work though from the Chiefs. Yuani is the guy I want to pump points in. Let's take a look though firstly at our youth players and see if there's anyone worth jumping on here. Um, Campbell Scott's 82, we've got an 84. I mean, we're going to have Ben Smith for at least two seasons, I think, because he hasn't announced his retirement yet. So no one really looks superb here. Uh, Dominic Brown, this is mid-70s, there's a couple of 80s. But we have a look through this um, Highlanders side. And a 72, 70s or 80s player is really not going to bust us up too much, is it? Maybe in the pack. Um, we're only looking at Liam Cobb with an 82 hooker. Aiden Johnson, certainly our best and youngest prop. We've got a very, very young front row options here with uh, Lomax Johnson and Osefa Scott. So those guys will be ones to certainly pump some points into. But I think we need to score tries and we need to get kicks, which is why I'm looking at one man to be the main guy for this season. And that is... Josh Yuani, of course, our big Bicky fly half. So let's spend some points on Josh. And um, goal kicking, I think, is one we certainly need to get up. Let's put four points on that. And we have some attribute points as well. So maybe we'll put like speed and acceleration on to um, Rob Thompson, who's older. But I just like Rob Thompson. I think he's a great player. Um, what else do we want to look at here for Josh Yuani? I think kicking is big. Um, and just his ability to break the line, I think. If we give him a little bit of acceleration, um, and let's bump up his tackling just a little bit. We'll leave some points for some other players, because I want to look at our midfield as well. Um, why is Marty Banks only 21? Surely he's like 31. We'll go with it. Marty Banks, he could be the future of this team. Um, don't know what's going on there. Rob Thompson is, is 28, but we've got C.O. Tompkinson, who's only 23. Um, which is probably a guy we want to look at as well. Josh McKay. He could be a superstar for us. Um, we've only really actually got one fullback in the whole squad. So if Ben Smith goes down, we are in a spot of bother. I'm going to pump some points into who, though? We've got Thomas Umanga Jensen, who is again going to be a guy of the future. Matt Fettis, what does he look like? Let's spend some points. He's 85. Rob Thompson's the guy. I'm going to go with Rob Thompson. He's older. 
But he's going to be in our team. And I'm a big fan of Rob Thompson. Let's get lots of points into that speed. He's going to be our try scoring machine um, in the, this season. And we've got some skill points as well. You know, let's just go all out. Try scoring is what we want to do. By sucking the whole 28, we've got to feed the leaders 24 as well. We'll probably put some points into those two guys later on down the track. But for now, we're just going to look for those guys to do the job for us. Okay, that is it. The end of episode one of Super Rugby on Rugby Champions. This is a career. We are looking long term here to take out the Super Rugby Tournament. We've got a couple of messages we'll look through quickly. Tough loss. Putty Putty Parkinson, James Lynch's and Matt Faddis were our standouts. Next match, we are up against the Reds. We've got to look out for Bryce Higgity, Summer Karevi, and Taniela Tupo in this red side. That is what we've got to look forward to. Big matches of Super Rugby coming up on Rugby Champions. If you like the series, you're enjoying it so far, and our opening match, which was a loss, sadly, do drop a like on the video, and I'll see you very, very soon for episode two, where we take on the Queensland Reds. Until then, thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying the series, and I hope you're looking forward to our future matches and seasons. Until next time, though, I'll see you for it. Take care.